Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at mediarelations.cornell.edu. Now, Cornell has just put out a study. They have found a way to convert carbon dioxide into electricity. And we'll go to a graphic on that. So they have the anode on the left in orange, and then an electrolytic fluid in the middle that separates the cathode. Rather, it, it connects the anode and the cathode, and the voltage is created between the two. And what's really interesting is the reaction products. It does put CO2 in a form that could be easily sequestered or turned into dry ice, basically cold and compressed CO2. But it also produces C2, or a carbon-carbon oxalate, which can be used for metal smelting, fiber production, and pharmaceutical production. So this creates two value-added products, electricity and C2, in addition to sequestering carbon. Now, you can argue whether or not carbon is really causing the climate to be warming or if the sun is the main driver of climate change. And, but I believe that carbon is a necessary gas for photosynthesis. And yes, there have been times, if you look at swamp core and ice core samples, that carbon has been much higher than it is now and plant life was thriving. But, you know, the fact of the matter is we keep burning these fossil fuels. We should find a way to take care of the emissions that are created by them. And this system could do a lot of good. It can sequester carbon, produce electricity, and produce value-added chemicals on top of that. You can read more about it in the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.